Hey y'all. I'm trying to. I'm really trying to get this stand like set in the perfect position. And I just hadn't gotten it yet. So, I don't know how that look like stern wheel. I really don't want that stern wheel to be in the way, but can y'all like focus on me and not the stern wheel? And I got so much stuff hanging up here. But I hope y'all are having an amazing day today. Doing whatever it takes to look good, feel good, just be great. Oh, Lord. Even before I speak, I pray just like you take over. Decrease me and you increase in me wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Because I definitely don't want to be speaking on my own. It is definitely not about me. Um, It's not about me. So that's that's the whole point. Like... Every day I'm just aiming to just walk in purpose and make sure I keep the focus on who is really about our king and not giving energy to um, the enemy. Basically, I'm just going to call it what it is and who it is. It's the enemy. Um, now when I look at people and now when I look at things, when I see people going crazy and doing crazy stuff, these are spirits. The spirits are real. Um, and they are out and the devil is definitely doing his job to come kill, steal, and destroy. So, um, you just have to keep that in mind. And I wake up just with a purpose to, now I just want to speak about God. I want to make sure I get that message out there and put my thoughts on and my thoughts and not just my thoughts. They are really facts and just the way I feel. Um, about who I believe is is my way and who I believe in Christ is and uh, you know everything that he put in me and uh, you know all the blessings he blessed me so it's just my way of I know I have to speak about it I'm supposed to be doing what it takes to bring people closer to Christ closer to our king not nothing else like that is the purpose if we're not telling anybody about christ or living like it or being an example like what purpose am i serving i'm not serving no purpose and yeah i didn't know what i was gonna talk about but it was just like i know once i talk and hit that button i'll be praying to god asking god to just you know, guide me to what he want me to talk about. Not really just me. Speak through me because this is just a temple that he's free to use. And use me, Lord, and speak whatever you want to speak. And I pray that I don't feel no type of way when getting off here. I pray that I can post it without any hesitation. I don't even think on it. To be honest, when I do these videos, I just do not even look at them. When I started on my videos, I did it like that. I would work, watch the first few little clips to just kind of get like a title on it and that really be about it but i don't watch them to um watch them to see because i'm too picky about myself i already think i look crazy i already think my teeth is too yellow my eyes dark circles is too dark i got bumps everywhere so if it was left up to me i would be breaking down every time something about myself but um it's not about me i have to keep in mind it's not about me and plus i have to be happy with who god created me to be like i gotta be okay with me i gotta love me and know that how i look and what i look like now is enough for whatever god's purpose is how i look now i look my best and i am my best and you know make sure i'm doing everything to you know be that and you know hey you know you're on the right i'm on the right steps but um it definitely takes work it's not something that i woke up and was like let me think about my purpose today it wasn't something that i woke up and say okay let me walk in purpose today let me speak with purpose let me do a video and you know tell somebody about jesus christ it don't be like that um just throughout to throughout the day i'm just thinking about how thankful i am and just i'm so thankful and 
I'm just so thankful and I'm so excited. Every day to me is a blessing. When I wake up, that is just my aim for it just to be an amazing day. If I can keep a smile on my face all day, happy, and everybody who come in my path, everybody who around me, happy, joyous, do what it takes to, for me to leave my greatness on around them, you know. Like, tell them I love them. Give them a hug. It might not even be much. Just listen to what they got to say. Love on the kids. You know, just that little stuff matters. Even my kids. Listen. Just listen to the stuff that they have to say. Just really love on them and just be around them and just, you know, I love all of that. Um, it was hard for me to express myself and show my love for my kids at one point because I'm not used to, like, a lot of hugs and kisses and all that mushy stuff from my mom or dad or just family members like that. Um, we I ain't used to all that. Now, as we get older, we do it a lot, but I, it was something I had to get used to with my kids because they love to hug and kiss and be under, so it's just like um, something that I had to change. So it's, I definitely had to change it and work on it because it was not easy for me to show affection. So... But now, I appreciate the kids loving on me, giving me those hugs. I really love it. They make me smile. They just, kids, they really don't know. You just, kids just bring the purity out of you, and they are just pure. You know, even your teenagers or even kids that's old, like, still, kids are just innocent and pure and it's like if they are doing something wrong, they're getting it from somebody they're around or somebody. So check yourself. Like when you see your kids, you say, oh, this kid is bad or oh, my child is bad and all that. When you say your child is bad, well, that means you're bad too. If he bad, then you bad because they just doing what they see what's around them. So if you are a person who yell, oh, my kid is bad, then you probably got your kid around a bad environment. So get your kid out there environment. Like, change it up. You don't want to speak, Yo, my kid is bad, my kid is stupid, my kid is ADHD. Well, if your kid is ADHD or ADAD or DDD, all these initials, then you might be a little that too. Because the kids is not just coming out born ADHD. They ain't just coming out being hyper and stupid or crazy or bad they come they your seeds so you have to look at the root on where it comes from not sit there and put them down as if it's they fault they are innocent until they grown it out your house yeah they are innocent now when they hit 12 and able to know then it's a difference but most people be calling their two-year-old bad or their three-year-old bad. And it's just like, they not bad. They're learning. They're learning. They're um, curious about things. They want to know about stuff. Like, they want to learn. Their mind's in a learning process. This one, we supposed to really speak positivity. Regardless if you think they're listening or they repeat it or they know it, you just say, I love you. I love you. You're a king. You're special. You're beautiful. We need to speak those positivities and affirmations in our kids while they're young because that was build their confidence and self-esteem and all that stuff up. So I know I didn't receive that as a child, and now that I look at it, it's really important. So feed your minds so you can feed your kids minds with positive thoughts every day i do it every day now and i'm trying to make it a 21 day thing listening to affirmations about myself repeating them over and over and over positive love self-love this is the part of healing yourself and becoming and loving yourself you guys you have to talk to yourself the lord see david he said you got to encourage yourself most of the time you're gonna have to encourage yourself so build it up with you faith come by hearing you have to believe you have to build that faith up that's a muscle so it's every day repeating the same stuff you can write down whichever ones you like or do like i do go on youtube university and pull up positive affirmations self-love affirmations i listen to i pulled up one that i like i listen to several different ones 
I listen to the same one every morning and I listen to the same one at night. Well, I kind of switch back and forth from the ones at night. Either I'm listening to the Bible at night or I'm listening to a self-love or some meditation thing at night, all night. When I wake up, go use the bathroom, I continually to play. It really do help and it helps you to not speak too much negative stuff. And then it helps you be slow to speak. You know, you will think about what comes out of your mouth. And when you hear negative stuff, it'll help you kind of like kill it quick. So, yeah. Um, let's just, that was just, I don't know. It was just a thought that was on my mind. I just hit the record button and started talking. So, whatever. Um, I hope y'all have an amazing day. Continue to be great. Y'all are awesome. Be a king. I love you guys. And just do you. Be you. Be happy. I love y'all. Bye.